All right, this is a continued tutorial on pump system layouts. Um, this explains what we have right now and where we are going. Um, and you, you're familiar with this uh, picture here. I, I did a tutorial on it uh, explaining this, this setup right here. Uh, this actually has four more, uh, three more pictures in it that we're going to go over. And uh, we'll start back with this one again. And as you recall, this, uh, this explained how the system is right now. We've got a, a pump package with some solenoid valves, and each solenoid valve has its own line. And there are six of them total at different lengths, and they go out to this timer package with solenoid and pressure switch and gauge. Uh, that's what we added out in the field. Uh, last week. And as you recall, what the issue was is that we still have to build pressure in this line. Um, the, the, we're using these solenoids as timers. Or we, we're timing these solenoids to come on and off, and it has to build this pressure in this line until this pressure switch makes. And then that pressure switch turns on these solenoids. Now, here's the next picture, and it's kind of like the same, but some of the wording has been taken out. And it, and it shows the, you know, the MicroLogic controller uh, that controls each one of the solenoids. And so, and this is the guy that we can set up uh, all kinds of timing sequences on, on the solenoids. So we can control this spray out here a lot better. Um, but we still have to build pressure in this line here. It starts out at 125 psi. That's because this solenoid's closed, this solenoid's closed, and as soon as we open up this solenoid, pressure builds up in this line to uh, 150 psi or so. This pressure switch makes, starts these timers, and then this uh, solenoid can open on and off. What we want to move to is something like this, where the pump runs all the time, although it did in the, in the other video. And we've got one line out here that goes all around the whole building. Comes back to a pressure regulator here. And then that pressure regulator keeps this whole line at 200 PSI. And then, uh, and that's what this pressure regulator right here does. And then it dumps it back into the 55 gallon drum. Th this is not here at a high pressure. It's just coming out of that pressure regulator back into the drum. So each one of these is the air handlers, you know, that go off. And then here's the example one we're using to show what's going on. So we're running along with high pressure on this all the time. That means there's high pressure here, high pressure here, right up to this solenoid. And that's there all the time. So all we have to do in this case, not much control here at all, no solenoids. Um, but we do, but we have this web controller here with a Wi-Fi interface. And then we have this control by web controller that we can set up via iPad, iPod, computer, uh, Android device, the timing sequence of this solenoid. So it's, it's uh, much, uh, much easier way to control it. And you can see we've got this Wi-Fi device here that can, if it wants to, come over to this Wi-Fi device here or the pump control, and then it goes out to the cellular, cellular modem that you can control it. And these Wi-Fi devices here can be set up as a bridge, which makes them secure. Uh, no one else can get on it type thing. And the other thing, um, like this other page here, 
this solenoid is very close to the nozzles. In fact, as close as you can possibly get it, because then there's no residual pressure built up in here, and when the solenoid shuts off, these nozzles quit right away, and there's no dripping. So that's the whole idea behind moving it closer. And then we have this 55 gallon drum down here, which really is, it's more up here above the pump and it siphons or drains right into the pump inlet and then goes to the outlet. Um, and then this line would come back here and go up on top. Um, so that's pure solution. That just goes right into the pump and then out and around um, at 200. 200 psi. So here, this is what uh, I, I project all the uh, future um, installations would be like, including UAR. Um, you know, you can make this work on uh, many, many, many sites. You can have a lot of these out there talking back to this Wi-Fi device that could talk to this cell phone modem. There really isn't any communications. This is a standalone server, standalone appliance, the CBW. Uh, this is a standalone appliance. They do their own job. They really don't talk back and forth to each other. They just do their job. And the only thing you do is you go in here through the cell modem and you make your changes to each one of them and then you let it sit there and do the do its work. Now this last uh, picture here gives a little bit detailed control uh, details of the controls themselves. So here, you know, this is the pump control box. This is back at the pump. This is the solenoid con control box. We're not showing any piping at all here. We're just showing communications, electronics communications. So. The solenoid control box, this is the control by web device. It's a control by web 3, 320 or 310 that controls the solenoid. And then here's this wireless bridge I talked about. Wireless bridges are secure device, uh, bridges that this wireless device talks to this one and nobody else can talk to it. it that's all it does. It opens up a network channel between those two wirelessly. doesn't open a network channel up to any place else. And then from there, that wireless bridge goes to this network switch, which goes to the cell modem, which you can talk to cellular, or just to a regular network connection. Uh, and then it also goes up and talks to this control by web, which is in the pump controller, which gives some alarm and control of the pump.